The Silvis School District is facing a shortage of bus drivers, but they're still finding a way to get their students to school. Yeah, News 8 Cedar Sanchez shows us how and why the district says it takes so long to hire more drivers. For some students, the school day begins on wheels. On Thursday, some students who ride the bus are getting picked up late, causing trouble. It's hard on people's schedules and routines. The Silvis School District Transportation Director Val Schneider says the inconvenience is due to the bus driver shortage in the area. We're having a hard time um, getting bus drivers hired, um, finding people that are in the position. The district superintendent, Dr. Terry Vandewilly, says they transport nearly 400 students a day at both George O'Barr Elementary and Northeast Junior High School. We have four drivers for four routes, and when somebody's gone, obviously uh, that's a challenge because then we have to combine routes and we have to get creative. To become a licensed school bus driver, Dr. Vanda Willey says it involves taking a training course and four exams. The district hired a new bus driver back in July, but the process is taking a bit longer to get done. Until she is licensed, we don't have a backup. After the new driver is licensed, the district hopes to hire more backup drivers to prevent this issue in the future. And we apologize for any inconvenience, but we're really doing everything that we can in order to um, be at full staff. In Silvis, Cesar Sanchez, WQAD News 8. And the district says combining bus routes will continue through tomorrow. If you're interested in becoming a school bus driver for the district, you can visit our website, wqad.com.